This old South Bend lathe came with a big ass four jaw chuck. Now this kind of chuck has jaws that move independently, so you can hold square shaped parts, you can hold irregular shaped parts, and you can also hold parts eccentrically, which means that if you want to, you can make it so that it's not in line with the spindle of the lathe. Truthfully, if you were just to have one chuck, this one would really be your guy, because you can do so much with it, and you can get the maximum amount of concentricity with it. With a dial indicator and a little bit of time, you can get parts lined up super accurate, and I really like it for stuff that's really important, like barrel threading, things like that. So as useful as it is, and as accurate as it can be, why would you want anything else? Well, there's a few reasons. A three-jaw chuck has jaws that move together, uh, scroll style. I got one for this lathe, and it came with a back plate that doesn't quite fit the chuck. Uh, why, I don't know. But that's why we're here today. We're going to cut it down and get this chuck mounted to the lathe. Now, only a few thousandths of an inch need to come off of this center boss on this mounting plate. The better that this plate fits the chuck means the more accuracy we'll get and repeatability we'll get in the chuck's concentricity. If you're wondering, these are some of the first cuts this lathe has taken since its renovation. It cuts like hot damn. I assumed that this plate would be cast iron, but it really cuts more like straight up steel. I honestly don't know, and I don't think it really matters. The first test fit was perfect. That chuck fits on there absolutely beautifully. No slop, no tightness, perfect fit. Three-jaw chucks have a reputation for being a little bit less accurate than four-jaw chucks, so I figured I would put that to the test with a little piece of drill rod here and a dial test indicator. The paperwork that accompanied this chuck from faraway land said that this chuck would have a run out of about three thousandths of an inch. Luckily, I'm getting about two. Now that may not be perfect, but, uh... Anyway, thank you for checking this out. I have a few more projects for this old South Bend lathe, and man, it really cuts like a workhorse. I mean, this is a fun machine to run. Feel free to check out the video of me restoring this if you haven't already, and the video of me adapting the Quick Change tool post. Check out my other videos and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Anyway, thanks for watching.